feel like doing this. Is it going to irritate you? Right, well, I don't want to scare you, but Jimmy's actually behind me. <laughs> no, guys, I'm being serious. Jim is standing behind me right now and he wants to talk to us. He's been in this house years and years and years ago. Mm. And I believe that the house was in his family. Don't. This really freaks me out because Nelly... Right, so she's never got out of her car, never. <gasps> And yesterday morning, I was in bed, and Nelly was going, Mummy! And she was standing next to my bed. Oh, God. Right, I swear, this is no word of a lie. I went into her room, put her in the cot, and go, show Mummy how you get out of the cot. And she cannot get out of her cot. Ask Jim, did Jim get Nelly out of the cot yesterday? Let's ask. No Listen. way. Jim would like to know if you helped Nelly get out of the cot. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Jim. Jim got Nelly out of the cot. Saying he did, didn't he? Let's see if we can shift, Jim. Yeah. Right, guys, if we can just hold hands now and repeat after me, Jim, please can you leave peacefully? Jim, Jim please can, can you leave, leave peacefully? peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank oh. you. I want to introduce you to a couple of my friends. <laughs> well, the two queens Hello. of Essex, he was meant to say. Hello, girls. Nice to meet you. Likewise, honey. How does it feel to be speaking to me, the GC? Oh, it's uh, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> so well spoken, Bobby. Stunning. Yeah, it's very nice. She's a good babe. Yeah, he's the one marrying now. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? You all right? Yeah, you. Why do you look so nervous? I don't know. You might, might as well say what you've got to say and just get it all off your chest. Well, to put it bluntly, I was in, I was in a nightclub tonight and, um, you know, I did meet a really fit girl and I was chatting her up and, um, and basically I didn't get anywhere. And then as soon as she knocked me back, the first person I thought of was you. And you're the first thing that came into my head. Right. And that makes me think that that must mean something. I want you to be honest with yeah. me now because this is really important. No, I must admit, when I did speak to this girl and it didn't happen, instead of me trying to find someone, sort of, all I kept thinking about is, you know what, I can't be bothered to talk to any other girls. I don't want to try it with anyone else. I want to find Gemma Collins. Why do you always get upset whenever we have... Whenever I'm trying to be honest with you and talk to you, you always get upset. For a year, you've been in my head. And I don't look at you and fancy you anymore. I don't lust after you. I don't want you. I am over you. I feel like one of them pigs in blankets right. that you eat at Christmas. Can I just say you look beautiful? You Shut look up. I, no, you do. You look amazing. You look like a trifle. A trifle? <laughs> and That's then good. didn't on the Titanic you get the earring in? The girl with a pearl necklace or something, weren't it? Was it was the heart of the ocean. Can you shush now? Yeah? Right. Let's take oh, it in. That? Right. Gem, I need you to sit still. What do you want? Some leg or something? Mm. Fake tandem better. Jim, please leave the positioning. It's just. It's My nice. arms look a bit thinner. Come on now, I really do I need you to keep this neutral face because I want to get it right, okay? I am the piece of art. You are. You are, but you're, you're my piece of art. And this is, I'll never ever forget this moment, do you know that? We've got to go round every nook and cranny, sage in the place. Clear the energy. Hum. <laughs> Hum. <laughs> this was my baby, this place. Didn't I get told it? This was my everything, this business that I built up. Was... We slept in here, didn't we? Yeah, the parties, the nights out after the shop. They were the good old days, Seth. 
Well, this has got to do something. Oh, shit. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Open the door. No, Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> Leave them on there. Let them burn. Oh. Really over the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, well I keep saying yeah. W. Why did I do that? Because you're a wanker. Well, <laughs> I'll call me that in a singing lesson. Bob, it's so good to be looking at your face again. I've missed you so much. It's like I've been away for ages, isn't it? Do you know what? I think before I went away, it was very stressful cos I was moving and I've gone on holiday and now I just feel, like, really relaxed and even more shocking. What are you going to tell me? I'm becoming a vegetarian. Shut up. Yeah. After all that whole scandal, I just don't want it in my life anymore. I am becoming at one with Mother Earth. Sausages are what? Arseholes and eyeballs, aren't they? They're full of rubbish anyway. <sighs> Disgusting. I only eat chicken, bit of poultry, but... Make sure it's free range because it's going to make your soul like, a lot clearer. It's about cleansing yourself. And if you're clear inside, everything's clear. That's why your aura is so positive I at the feel, moment. Do you feel it? I can absolutely feel your energy you're giving yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for coming to my birthday party today. Like I'm turning 31, and to mark the occasion, I have come up with the Gemmas. They are personal awards that I have decided and chose for you all personally. Everyone in the room here tonight, let's just really have a good night and party on down Essex style. <laughs> Thanks for coming today, Jess. That's all right, I'm glad you asked. I love all this sort of thing. It's good, cos it's, like, so interesting, but not many people get it. Mm. I know I am spiritual. My third eye has become, like, so blocked. My aura's blocked. Just before Christmas, I was, like, thinking, you know what, I'm 31 <clears throat> and not found the love of my life yet. You know the Ouija board? Oh, you didn't. Why I did, did it, and I asked it who I was going to marry, and it couldn't tell me. And then I think that, like, a demon's got inside me, because since then, I've not felt normal. Really? That's why I want to come today and get my third eye cleansed. A ghost isn't going to be able to tell you who you're going to marry. But it's like the spirits, they know the future. But I'm not going to be very spiritual later. I'm going poker with Joey. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be rolling them chips. <laughs> Have you got a deal on facials at the minute? I've got really bad skin at the minute. Um, rose eye quartz crystal treatment, leg rub, foot rub, toe rub, butt rub. Everything needs rubbing. So with the champagne reading, it's a little bit like tea leaf scrying. I'm sure you've heard of that, tea leaf reading, where you look at the patterns. Um, you were asking me about your emotional life, your personal life, and when it comes to love, you know, you don't just rush in head first. I feel you do question things. Can't you tell me, like, times, dates? What do you want times and dates in connection with? Like, when I'm getting married, what date I'm going to have my children. Oh, that would be great. I would have to call myself God if I was going to do things like that. Right. I do see a ring on your finger, cos I feel you are quite a traditional lady at heart. Yeah, okay. but when, darling, when? When? Tomorrow? Tune in, tune in, cos this is all right. I don't right. feel this year. Right, so, so what year? I'm feeling that. I'm going to say two years. There's a lot of little love hearts in here, so I don't think you're going to have to wait too long, OK? Oh, fuck it. Just come on in, just give me a kiss. You kiss me. Oh, <laughs> come on in. <laughs> That's quite nice, actually, Jim. <laughs> 
<laughs> You've won the lottery yard. <gasps> oh, this is such a weird night. Oh. <laughs>